Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday, January the 8th. And today's video, we're going to talk about how you can get access to the low boards without having your own authority. Um, this is mainly for like the freight dispatchers that are looking to dispatch truckers and they're unsure of you know how they can get access to these low boards. This is also a video request from one of our YouTube followers, Rachel King. Thank you so much, Rachel, for this awesome question. And we're gonna get started um, with the video. All right, so guys, before we get started, there are a few things we want you to do. If you could go ahead and hit the subscribe button, also click the bell so that way anytime we re release any of the new videos you are able to receive those notifications make sure you like if you like the video like it and share it on facebook you can also follow us on facebook at bumblebee dispatch you can follow us on instagram at bumblebee dispatch and you can follow me on instagram at miss patty 85 and that's m-s-p-e-t-t-y 85 if you need to contact us, our website is bumblebeedispatch.com. You can also contact us via social media. And also, if you have any questions or video requests, make sure you send those to our email so we can hopefully get a video made for you. Again, thanks, Rachel King, for this awesome question, and I hope this video helps. All right, guys, so the first thing you have to do to be able to get access to the low boards, if you do not have an authority, you first have to have a carrier with an active authority whom you will be dispatching. Um, so if you've already taken like your dispatcher course, whether it's from us or someone else, now you have to go out and market for your client. Um, once you do have a client, you would basically um, go to the next step. So then you're gonna contact the DAT low board and let them know you're a dispatcher and you need access to dispatch your carriers. Usually you would have to call in. Um, if you go to their website, there should be like a 1-800 number and um, you can actually call in and speak to a representative and let them know, hey, I'm a dispatcher and I need to be able to get access to the low boards because I have carriers to dispatch. Guys, this is very important make sure you have a carrier first before contacting them okay and the reason why i said that is because they're going to ask for an mc number which is the motor carrier number that that carrier is assigned from the fmcsa so you want an active authority an mc number um and they're also going to call that carrier to verify that you're dispatching for them so make sure you do have a dispatch client. Usually you can get all of this done in the same day. So, you know, if you get a carrier to dispatch today, um, you can go ahead and probably get set up with the low board the same day. So it really isn't a big issue. Um, you will be responsible for the low board fees. So again, you're not trying to get set up and paying money out of your pocket if you don't have anybody to dispatch and you aren't making anything, okay? So they're gonna ask you for the MC number that you're dispatching and then they're gonna call that company to verify that you dispatch for them. And once they call the carrier to verify that you, it's okay for you to dispatch, um, usually you'll be granted access with your own dispatch account. Again, you will have to keep it active. If for any reason, let's say that account goes inactive where you do not pay your monthly subscription fees, and let's say you lost that carrier you were dispatching, then you would have to do this process over again. So if you don't have any carriers that you're dispatching, then you will not you know, have that access. Um, that's if you don't pay your account. However, if you keep your account in good standing, then um, you should be okay whether you have a carrier you're dispatching or not. All right, guys, and that's the end. Thanks for watching. Again, please hit the subscribe button and like us on Facebook and like the video. Thanks.